despite the condemnation from the President and the Northern Advocacy for Peace Against Bandits' attacks on communities in the Northeast and other parts of the country, the attack still persists with recent one in Plateau State. Also on the breakfast, we take a look at the new revenue allocation, which suggests the federal government takes 52.68% of the revenue and state gets 26.72%, while local government gets 20.60%. What is the implication for our economy? And don't forget, we also will be looking through today's newspapers and analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Good morning to you. This is The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. And I am Messi Bopo. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Yes, indeed. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're just ahead of straight to uh, what is uh, top trending. And the late singer, Osina Chungwachuku, is still in the news with different um, reactions and different developments and trilling and that uh, particular event that happened over the weekend. Uh, this time around, from what we hear, the late singer's um, husband uh, was uh, allegedly uh, was in um, a secret marriage. Messi, can you believe that? Uh, that was actually revealed by the Minister of uh, Women Affairs and uh, Paul and Talent. Uh, she said it in an interview with um, the national television station where, uh, when she visited um, the children and uh, she made some you know, shocking revelations stating that um, you know, this man who was um, alleged to have um, you know, beaten or domestically uh, abused um, the wife um, also had another wife. So um, it's, it's really unfortunate that uh, a lot's actually unveiling and one of the things that one would hope for is that Osana Chi herself will probably be alive at this point. But it's really sad. Very sad. Uh, like you said, we have different accounts of it and at some point you have uh, she making that revelation. I mean, as a matter of fact, a lot of people are saying that this, we don't even need to get into a trial. Because you already know what the law says. You are innocent until you're being proven guilty by a court of competent jurisdiction. True. And at the end of the day now, we're not even looking at a case against domestic violence, right? Because I'm not sure we have laws um, as regards domestic violence. But of course, mother is mother. And so if you, <laughs> you are responsible for you know, the death of your wife, then that would just be another case. But some people are saying uh, the fact that the children would actually speak up, because the children have spoken up and then they said uh, one of the, the you know, the um, child went to the room and brought a photograph of me on an album where you have the father, uh, pictures of the father getting married to another woman or is probably married to another woman. I've, I've read different stories, I've seen different reports mm. and Really, if, if those these stories are uh, things to go by, I mean, if any of this is anything to go by, it's really sad. Very, very, very sad. Very, very, very sad indeed. Uh, but one would think that if you if you are in a secret marriage, if you probably got married to her, I mean, you have someone you you are in love with or you're married to, then why why not go ahead with a divorce? You know. So what's the essence of staying together? You probably would have just gone and asked her to leave or just you leave. And uh, just uh, so she, at the end of the day, she would have been alive if you were not no more comfortable with the relationship, um, if you were having issues and um, you're no longer in love with your wife and uh, you feel that another woman would make you happy. Like you have said, why not separate? Why not divorce? So, so Instead because of I, making I don't her life the a leave in hell. Yes, I don't, I don't understand the rationale. Like I mentioned earlier on, I mean, <laughs> we have to verify all mm. of this fact. I mean, not to say that it's not possible that this, this would have happened or this is the case, but I'm just saying that if all of these reports and all that we're seeing is anything Something to, to go, go by, by mm -hmm. then I don't understand why he had to stay in. So if you have someone you're already married to, someone you probably comfortable with and you love, then why stay with her? You just go away. You just you you go away this or you ask sad. her to leave. Mm -hmm. It's it's just simple. I would always say that at the end of the day, for me, if you look at my micro blogging platform, I say I'm human. 
we need to be human. We need to understand that we're human. Sometimes, whether we, actually or not have, sometimes love, we actually have forgotten the sense of our humanity. So, so whether or not there's, there's, there's a relationship or not, whether or not we're in relationship, yeah, whether or not there's being. any kind of relationship you want to talk about here, you need to understand that the other person you're dealing with is a human being. And what we expect is that you should treat them with respect dignity and there should be some f level of fairness so i don't th that principle should be constant at all level mm. right I, I don't even think that love should even come in the equation here whether or not you know you love her or you don't love her but you should treat her as a human and if you think it's not going well with you just ask her to leave so what what is the reason right what is the reason that you, you, you had to stay by and treat her like that. Like I would say, if it's anything to go by. But we really wish and hope that, you know, Osina, she didn't die. And some people would say it's because because she's dead and that's why we're getting to know about all of these things. So period, it's a yes. very dicey situation. It it's very um, sensitive and it's very complicated. Mm. We can only hope that justice will be met. And also a lot of people are looking out to uh, get the autopsy report. Now, okay. you know, with a climb, we're not very big enough to say when people die, they just, we don't just really go ahead and just find out what led to the cause of their death. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that we get an aut autopsy report and uh, and see how how that actually pans out. Okay. It's a lot to take in. A whole me. lot to take in. And uh, also in a related development, uh, there are uh, calls or um, you know petitions and um, people have been pushing out uh, on um, Twitter, specifically asking for um, the mess. Uh, for legislation uh, for domestic um, violence, uh, they're asking for domestic violence act, and so for so far they're asking for about um, seven thousand uh, you know people to sign in or there. But the thing is that uh, uh, domestic violence uh, we don't specifically have um, a domestic violence act or law in Nigeria. But what we have, uh, I know it is domesticated here in Lagos. They have um, the Violence Against Persons and Prohibition Act, uh, which actually takes care of. Um, gender-based violence, uh, you know, uh, spousal, um, rape, and other issues uh, that may come out from the home front. But uh, this particular one is actually coming out all in the wake of uh, what happened with them, Osna Chinwachiku, over the weekend. And a whole lot of people have been speaking about, you know, domestic violence and uh, the need for government to make um, appropriate laws to, you know, attend to those specific issues. And they're actually calling out, you know, for people to sign a particular uh, petition. So, yes, it's very brilliant. I must say, it's commendable, the fact that we're going to use the law to address all of this. But as much as this sounds very brilliant and interesting, we also need to understand that what's really, at the end of the day, we talk about domestic violence. It's not just the particular gender that's a victim. Here, yeah, right here. Also so you have the men. men, even though it's not very popular, or probably might not just be reported at all times, also because of some culture or perspective and narrative that's been pushed out over time. And so men are expected to be men. And, uh, you know, the women, of course, we generally know that would say women are very vulnerable. I mean, you look at the statistics of uh, those who are, I mean, vulnerable, they would mm -hmm. always be uh, the weaker sex. Not necessarily, but you see that they're, they're victims of it. Well, uh, that's very okay. But I think that it's more of a cultural thing, right? It's more of a cultural thing. As, lo as long as we have the law, I would think that there should be a collaboration of the law as much as you have the law mm -hmm. on the other hand. But we need to do a lot of work. The orientation and the narrative that's been put out there is really wrong. And so, I, I always say that we live in a society where it's, we, we, it's an abuse cycle. So it's an abuse generation. Mm. Your father or your mother abused vice versa, right? The, the cycle like continues. The, the children, and so the children have been acculturated. I saw a video of two young uh, lads. I don't know if it was a skit. I don't know if it was real. They walked up to their dad and said they were going to get married. And uh, they're looking at them and then they say, oh, you know, when I get married, I'm going to be beating. The, the son was now telling uh, the mom that she will be beating the, the wife. And, you know, it was really sad. Very, very so sad. we talk about acculturation. Th these children learn faster than what you tell mm -hmm. them uh, by the things that they see they in the see, environment. They see just, just six in, sinks so, into so, the So, so it's, a lot to, it's a lot to deal with. I'm thinking that it's more of a cultural thing because over time, culture, I don't know where we, 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 we 
where, where that originated from. Mm. But constantly, some people have just thought that it's just normal. It's normal that it's just a woman normal to be that beaten a man by will the be beaten by her and, husband uh, and being maltreated. And the fact that she has to stay in. And some women too also, uh, I, I, I don't, in as much as I don't want to stop um, pushing blame, some women feel that it is normal that uh, uh, he has to beat me so that I can have like a reset <laughs> of my brain. Because you know, some women say that too, you know, sometimes that he needs to really eat to make my brain correct again, you know, when I started the show myself, you know, but, but no matter what it is, uh, you can't be in a you can't be in an abusive relationship. There's even a, a post that is um, trending where a particular lady called off her wedding because um, the boyfriend, um, you know, uh, has been hitting her. She said that she cannot go ahead um, with the wedding. I think it is commendable because those are telltale signs. You know, if he's beating you when you are in a relationship, who says he won't beat you when you get into? I'm, house? I'm almost tempted to speak, you know, a particular dialect, which I mean, is it Yoruba? Written. I know you don't speak. Good no, it's not Yoruba. <laughs> is it? Your, I don't. Is it ethic? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I probably. So long as you translate, no problem. Okay, so oh god, can I say? Yeah, go ahead. You say that you translate, no problems. Ah, it is so hard for me, you know. So I'm stealing my elements. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really say this, but to be very honest, um, it's such a big one, right? Uh, the truth is, domestic violence should not be a violence at all levels should not be tolerated, whether not domestic all. or not. Not at all. Now, yeah. it's a good thing that you have this uh, bill trying to seek, I mean, there's a law to protect people, whether a man or woman, from domestic violence. But I'm saying that we need to also tackle it from the narrative that has been pushed the over front, time. The school you front, know, um, uh, the, the cultural, front, the yes, religious. The family level, everywhere. So, so all of that narrative, you can tackle it from there. Maybe we necessarily will not even need the law because mm. people need to understand. It's be become normal. I don't know just think that's normal. I mean, if it's a hit you, okay, it so it's okay. Absolutely not and then normal. why do you need to speak up? You just constantly have to be there. And so uh, it calls for a lot of consent. But like that uh, post that you made reference to, she mm. called off a wedding. I mean, it's supposed to happen in recent time, but yes. you know, she has seen all of that. And that particular adage says... She needs her mental health. Uh, that adage says, the way you sleep... Huh? You, have to, you better say it in ethical. No, no, I will say it. I will say it. <laughs> why do I feel so much? I can say it. Okay. So... <laughs> Mercy. Everyone, I'm being prompted to say it. So, I will, should I give the English interpretation to you? Say, yeah, you no, you, no, mercy. I'm putting you on the spot now. You say it in ethical, so not give it term. It means that you would use sleep and know how dead is. The way you sleep is that that's how dead is. Mm. I don't know if you understand. So, basically, it's, what you are feeling that might be a precursor that what will happen in the, the way, future. The way, so for me, and I don't know, but I'm more concerned about how I'm being treated. Right and now. what you say. Mm. So it's the way you treat me, that's how it's going to be. So if you look if you look at the way we sleep, that's how death is. You are just not You are completely control. lost to everything. And so the, the way sleep is, it's just the same way death would be. Mm. And so it's just the same thing. If you look at how you are being treated, that you are not even married, and you know, something a lot of people think that, oh, when we get married, everything is going to change. Not well, you know where that change. comes from? It's the fact that the culture of marriage, all the African women and women have been taught about, let, let me not even begin to delve into African women, but I think that the difference is not so much. Mm. But you know, the Nigerian woman, all we're being thought of is the fact that you go to school, graduate, get married. Get married and have kids. And marriage has been the center of it. We're not saying that marriage is bad, but you know, women have been made to believe that marriage is all the, the ultimate and then there's it. nothing about it. And that's why women will say, oh, you can't leave your marriage. What will people say? Oh God, you're going to be embarrassed and all of that. So people are just saying, oh, it's because I can't be divorced. No one can hear that I'm separated. Really? Marriage does not complete you. Marriage does not make you. You could actually have a wholesome life and um, if the marriage is not working, you can move away from it. If uh, you're being battered in a relationship, move away from it. There's no point trying to salvage it. Uh, let's pray about it. Let's go on a, a fasting and praying session. Let's uh, do some counseling. Sometimes counseling session might work, but if the person is beating you, if you're being battered, if you're being physically abused, there's no point of you staying because over time it might get worse. Fine, some people have actually uh, had some very good testimony afterwards, um, but that is, doesn't really work for everyone. If you are being battered, if you can, if you, uh, 
No, it's I not, understand. It's really very overwhelmed. But what we're saying yes. here is this. We, first of all, everyone, we need to understand that we're human. Mm. And even those who would make reference to the Quran and the Bible, if you also understand, I'm not sure that Jesus himself was a violent person. No, and if Jesus is about love, the way you treat one another would be love so and in respect. Yes. And so I'm not even sure. Yes, the Bible would say it does not, um, you know, agree with divorce. But would Jesus be happy? I mean, for those of people who would say, Oh, you can't leave. You but will have Jesus a of your life. be happy that you are treating another human in that way? And what would he I do? I can even say and you love it. someone so when it's a, you it's a lot. hit the it, it's, it's a lot to deal with at this point in time. We, we do not support violence at no, all levels, don't. whether or not it's coming from a woman or a man. Or a man we totally no. are not in support of it. And it's a good thing that, you know, the government is thinking in that direction to have laws to protect um, both genders, you know, from violence. But also, we would say that we need to you know, disabuse our mind of the culture and the narrative that has been put over time as regards violence and the outcome of it. Including, you know, um, the issue of rape as well. We also saw that Did, we have Did you see rape. that one? Yes, yes. It's a lot to it, it is, it's it a is. lot to deal with. But we need to move away because we're out of time. Yes. And of uh, course we need to But uh, just before we leave that, I'm I'm really happy that um not like I'm happy that uh, this incident happened, but a whole lot has come out of this and the church is beginning to, you know, put its best foot forward concerning this issue of uh, you cannot divorce, you cannot you you have to manage the relationship. Though it's something that we need to talk continuously over time. This is just so rampant right now because of what happened with Osinachi. But over time, the church should talk about domestic violence. And to talk, the church should talk about issues, you know, couple and family, you know, uh, families go through because at the end of the day, if you're not alive, you don't have a family, you don't have a marriage. I don't want to dwell on that for so much because um, it's really very, a very uh, uh, emotional <laughs> stuff. You know, I don't want to. Uh, then again, before we leave our, our um, top trend, and uh, it is a sad one for Nigeria. We, uh, we lost um, the statistician in general yesterday uh, who died um, just a month after he was appointed. We won't really dwell on that, but uh, we pray that God gives um, the family of that um, of the later uh, statistician general the fortitude to bear that irreparable loss. We'll take a quick break, and when we'll come back, we'll go straight to off the press in a moment. Stay with us. <laughs> 